Divine Truth Information. In the following presentation titled August 2018 Announcements, News and Information, Jesus and Mary discuss what has been happening in their life over the past six months, provide an update about Divine Truth event schedules, discuss their current projects and priorities, and provide information about the upcoming assistance groups. This session was recorded on the 29th of August 2018 from 11.30 a.m. in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Part 2. All right, well, now we just will, want to talk a little bit more about God's Way organisation itself and give some updates on what God's Way has been working on in the last six months or so. Jesus and I are really involved in God's Way. Um, we're the founding members of the organisation. Uh, we, we won't necessarily always be as involved as we are at the moment. No. But uh, as God's Way is getting up and running, it's it's uh, taking up a fair bit of our time, isn't it? Yes, um, yes. And that's... Divine Truths maybe been, you know, a little neglected. Or not neglected, but... We, we don't get to have as many of these kind of sessions yeah. as we would normally want but um, and be able to share as much information as we normally would. But we are uh, able to have some practical uh, work with a group of people who are passionate about mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. and also passionate about seeing you know what divine truth looks in practice mm. looks like in practice in their day-to-day -day life mm. so that's also good we get to have those interactions which some is, of these which people that we're working with regularly really inspire me as well. oh they're great through, people through yeah. Their, yeah and their uh, passion and their dedicate their de dedication to being humble themselves and yeah and, it's not that all of them are free of injuries no not at all Th not they at all. have their own stuff that yeah. they're bringing from from their life and their addictions and yet the willingness to look at those things, uh, which, as we've said, varies from time to time. You know, sometimes we're really firm with people uh, and, and have to be. Have to be. Yeah. Um, but they just inspire me the way that they, they, they want to keep looking at and that And I think stuff. the biggest thing is that, like I said, each one of the members is, put their, is putting their whole life into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, not, it's, not just a, it's not just words for them. Mm. It's, a, it's, a li it's, a, it's a life they want to live. And... It's, it's very hard to find people who, you know, who are passionate about God's truth, but who actually want to apply it to their whole life. Yeah, and, it's rare. And uh, it's yeah. a rare thing. And, and yeah. so these people are, uh, are made, and for many of them, they're putting all of their resources, all of their, like for some, they've, they've had years of businesses or whatever and, and gotten together a nice little nest egg and they're spending their nest egg on making it happen as well, mm -hmm. you know, and just trying to get, everything operational so they're putting everything behind it they, they are truly yeah. committed to making to make to doing it because they believe it. you know that it's not it's not just words to them that's right and yeah. what and when you mentioned that money's being spent they're spending it towards infrastructure that is going to it creates potential so yes. that the, the things that god's ways purchased so far are things like uh properties well in our land. last update we said we were purchasing a property which yes, we actually we have did. purchased now so yes. so we have a function center now yes um, it's not, not not got anything on it <laughs> <laughs> but it is a it is a property where we want to build basically facilities to hold seminars we would like to have well two, and, two properties actually been purchased since our last uh, presentation that's right so yeah. one of them god's way purchased outright and yeah. one um, God's Way purchased in joint ownership with another person. Yes. They're adjacent to each other and basically what we want to do is have uh, on the larger property, you've already started um, overseeing some amazing environmental recovery projects there. Yeah. Because this is so uh, old a bull, farming a bulldozer land. has been purchased since yes. the last. Yes, can we just talk about the purpose well. of the property, and then we'll get on to the. Well, I'm other thinking, why, why don't we just list what we've purchased? Yeah. And this has all been donated by different people. Yeah. So we we purchased a property, 288 acres, mm -hmm. that that cost 400 and something thousand. We purchased another property, uh, joint venture that that was 100 acres next to the property mm -hmm. that we purchased with a house on it. Mm -hmm. That that was another 400 thousand. There's and these are people's whole livelihoods going into this, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, we don't have the money to buy any yeah. of that. And it's not us owning these things. No, no, fact, no. It's God's it's way. It's all owned by this not-for-profit organisation. Yeah, God's way yeah. owns all of these yes. things. And um, there's been a bulldozer purchase. Mm -hmm. Now that is privately owned by a person who purchased it, but it's being used totally for God's way uh, environmental recovery projects. Yeah. 
There's been an excavator purchase that gets delivered this week. Mm -hmm. There's been people having to learn how to drive the bulldozer and the excavators. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's also being a truck purchase so that we can deliver materials and mm -hmm. water and other things as well. There's um, also a huge amount of plans being done. There, oh, there's been, um, there was an old, uh, not an old, a, 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 there was a brand new miners, uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, I don't know what quarters call. system like for, oh, for 250 uh, people. So when you just explain um, that, it's, it's, uh, it was a set up for housing, temporary housing for, for, for on a mine site. On a mine site. For workers. That to, never went ahead. Yes. Right. So it's all and in parts. It was over $900,000 worth of material. And we managed to build, buy it for around about 150,000 plus transport. So and that was private individuals, but again, donating those resources to potentially house volunteers or That's right. Or so members. they've bought yep. it for themselves, yep. but they're probably going to be building homes, which in the end, volunteers or, or people who are permanent members of God's Way will live in. Yes. So, and, and there's a potential there of building 24 homes yeah. uh, in that in that potential so so you can imagine um there's also um the there's the re uh, modeling of or, or you could say yeah remodeling of two homes that are, is also going on concurrently so and and it, there's also been the technological upgrades that we mentioned in divine truth, truth. really they to are store for, all this data yes for <laughs> as well storage for god's way exactly yeah. and so and also there's been a huge amount of plans drawn up um, and and things operational mm -hmm. on on each project for for the construction projects for the uh, environment. environment projects and also for the information sharing projects at this stage are the primary projects that you know we're spending a lot of time developing along with the volunteer selection program mm -hmm. so so all of these things are happening concurrently and there's only eight members doing it yeah eight members and very two, busy, two volunteers very busy little bees so they're all very very busy <laughs> people and every single week everyone's quite challenged because there's all new things to learn and you know I've, and that's where and so I, I just like um just some examples like Catherine, who's uh, who's in her, how old are you, Cass, in her 70s? Yeah. Um, she's been learning computer work for the first time because all of the members are submitting things for our blog and for project documentation. She's been learning data uh, spreadsheets and word processing for the first time. Some of the guys are getting in large, heavy machinery. Yeah. They're being trained properly, but they trying to maintain it. Trying to maintain it. They're, they're challenging them. Even some of us girls have been in the dozer and, you know, doing things. And yeah. just everyone's really challenging themselves to grow themselves spiritually and in terms of their skill set because everyone's really focused on these are great projects. We want to have a positive benefit, not just to this immediate environment that we're working on, but we want to be able to share those benefits so that they can be replicated with other people. And yeah. it's just, it's wonderful to see how people are coming together to, yeah. to make that happen. And I think this brings us to, this, to a point, and that is most of this work is being done because of the generous donations of just one or two or three people. Um, and, and, you know, that's sooner or later those one or two or three people are going to run out of funds and not be able to do that mm -hmm. and they won't be able to make, uh, do these donations so so one of the things that directors would like to do is to thank everybody who does think about donating to god's way because there's all these projects going on that eventually god's way is going to have to maintain through donations mm -hmm. only because it has no other source of income other than donations it won't have the ability to uh, raise funds in a traditional way, you know, because the the constitution precludes it from doing mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. So, so it's going to have to be reliant on people's generosity to get a lot of these projects going. And so, what we're doing over the next few months is focusing our attention on the dissemination of information about all the projects that are happening. So this is the first probably time many of you would have heard about yeah. all of these projects happening, even though many of these projects have been going on for over a year now. Mm. And this probably is the first time we've heard about it. And as, I, as I've said to the directors, it, it, that's a problem. We've got, to, we've got to get this information out so that everyone knows what's going on. And, and once you know what's going on, you decide whether you want to help or not, whether it's through donation or volunteer activity or whatever yeah. other way you'd like to help. Um, but 
everyone who's doing it is real keen. Like we're, we're, we're getting to be a pretty like cooperative team now. Yes. And it's really good. Yep. And, and so, uh, you know, but obviously the team is very small mm -hmm. and we'd like it to be bigger, mm. uh, uh, but still very cooperative. And mm. that's why we do the volunteer selection project. Too. That's, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, um, do we want, we kind of, we had some points here, but we kind of covered them all. Well, no, I I'd think, like to talk well, no, about I'd this. still like to cover the Would points, you, but, but yeah. I just fill this whole aspect of donations eventually, where, where all of these things are being accomplished by, by the very, very generous few people, really, in terms of donating stuff to get these things done. And also the, the members who are all highly committed every single week to getting these things done. Yeah. Um, Obviously, donations assist in that process, and, and, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. However, donations are not tax deductible in Australia uh, because we don't want to do tax deductible donations. Um, and also, the, but it is a non profit well, organisation. Could, yeah, could we do, so, do you, I'll just clarify a little bit about that. Yeah. So, in Australia, there's um, some different laws governing companies. So, yes. God's Way was set up as a company which is governed by so a member-based a member company. Based company. So members are in charge of the company. There's a board of directors who oversee the day-to-day -day running of the of the company. At the moment, the board is made up of myself, uh, Eloise Litton Hitchens and Catherine Spence, um, and uh, with me as a managing director. <laughs> um, and uh, we've got eight or so members. Um, now, within our company constitution, we've we've written that uh, we are a not-for-profit company. Hmm. Now, that we're legally bound to that um, and assessed on that, but in order to get um, tax-deductible gift recipient status in Australia, which means that when you donate to a not-for-profit company, you can receive a tax benefit for that donation, in order for us to get that uh, capability for our donors, we have to go through a whole other stringent process to register as a charity. And when I say it's stringent, it's not that it's not that there's more legal requirements on us in terms of our profits or anything. It's just that we have to supply a lot of documentation to the government, uh, and they regulate us um, in terms of us having to supply that documentation annually. Now, we're not opposed to doing that at some time in the future, but as we are getting up and running, that was too much to do mm -hmm. straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, there are some pros and cons to becoming a charity in terms of what happens with the long-term future of the company. So mm -hmm. um, we wanna make sure that these very generous donations that people are giving to the organization can be used sort of in perpetuity. Everything that they put in into the, to the company can be used forever to benefit the world. Now, if we were to become a charity and for some unforeseen circumstance in the future, God's Way didn't, wasn't able to continue, then we would have to find another charity that had the same goals and purposes as ourselves and donate all of the assets to, to that other charity. Now, at the moment, no such other charity exists. And so <laughs> that's a big uh, drawback for us at this early stage. In, in time to come, when God's Way is really uh, up and running and running well, there may be other charities that exist and we may be also um, have other things in place and so on. So, yeah, yeah. so that's a bit of an overview as to why you don't get a tax deduction at the moment. Mm. Um, but it, it, all of your funds are used in a not-for-profit company, very yes. certainly. And yeah. even the members uh, getting subsidies have nothing to do with, with God's, God's way, way itself. No. There are individuals uh, of which we are one third, yes. but uh, there's three There's three sources uh, of, of funds, private, private sources for yeah. the funds of those subsidies. Um, and and God's Way doesn't pay, at the moment, pay any subsidies at all to mm -hmm. any person, yeah. even though those people are working almost full time for God's Way. Yeah. So so the reality is that all the funds are used to pay for expenses. Yeah. Uh, and obviously we have a fairly high expense rate at this stage because we're bought purchasing new equipment yeah. and we're also, uh, you know, having to maintain the mm -hmm. uh, things that we currently have as well and to just get a whole heap of projects underway. 
Yeah. And so, so the way it's working is that the subsidies themselves are paid by private individuals who want to support the God's Way members, mm -hmm. and that will probably continue. Mm. And, and if you are a private individual who would like to support the God's Way members, you can do that by assisting in this subsidy program mm -hmm. if you want to. Um, separate to anything you do for God's Way. Yeah. Um, God's Way itself receives donations and it uses all the donations on projects. Yeah. And, uh, and there are no donations getting fun funneled to any individual, whether that's a director or a member or, or a volunteer. Um, they, all, all those funds come from other sources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Will we touch briefly on some of that purpose and vision for some of the properties, or do you, will we do that at another time? What would you like to do? Um, yeah, probably. I think it's worth talking just briefly mm. about the purpose and vision. Mm -hmm. We do have an environment centre, which yep. is a six hundred acre property, which our purpose is primarily to to generate and maintain environmental projects on. Um, that and that centre does have a home on it, it does. which needs renovation, mm -hmm. which we're currently also doing. And mm -hmm. um, the function centre is a new property that's been purchased. Well, you could say that and its neighbouring property uh, are now classified as the function centre. It's basically total 400 acres or thereabouts. And that property, in the end, we want to be our main function centre. Mm -hmm. That will include, in the long run, having an auditorium uh, where we have run events mm -hmm. for up to 500 people, hopefully, mm -hmm. and also two recording studios, along with uh, rooms for servers and production and administration staff and a cafeteria to show people what vegan food is like and And I'd like and to have so a, an information centre that's open to just the general public, public. to pop in at any yeah. time and learn more about And this centre will be open to the public. God's Way yeah. projects, yeah. yeah. Uh, and also we want to construct some accommodation for short-term volunteers, which will possibly go on that property, perhaps on a different property, but somewhere where people who are coming, say, for something like the Volunteer Selection Project or even coming for a weekend seminar that's held by God's Way or Divine Truth, that there's some accommodation in the local area um, yeah. that, that where can people be can used. stay. Yeah. And, and uh, also some of the accommodation we're designing, we're hoping could also be used anywhere in the world where yeah. we can actually set it up here and transport it anywhere, mm. anywhere in the world to get other centres set up in yeah. anywhere in the world. And then there's the actual centre itself, which are large buildings we're planning, you know, yeah. above 1,500 square metres generally, and a number of them. And that's going to be very dependent upon uh, donated, donations being received yeah. so we can build those particular yeah. things. And we're also doing uh, building programs that uh, are designing new materials for building. Yes. So the problem, one of the problems that we're feeling is that many of the building materials currently supplied around the world have a high amount of toxicity involved in their production. And very um, and taxing on the environment to produce. Yes, yeah. yeah, very taxing. And so we're trying to come up with materials that we can use to build our new projects uh, that are going to be far less uh, taxing on the environment or buildings that are basically recycled from other materials um, and, yeah. you know, even things like shipping containers and other things like that. So, so we're looking at quite a number of different options at this stage in the planning phase. But these are all the different projects that are going on all simultaneously mm -hmm. and all currently being done by only by... Eight members. Well, ten people, ten really. People. Eight members and two volunteers. Yes. And we haven't even touched on some of the other work that um, a couple of... Or is it three volunteers? Three volunteers. Three volunteers. Eight members, three volunteers. <laughs> Sorry about the last one. <laughs> <laughs> we love them all. Uh, we, we didn't really forget. We just miscounted. Uh, um, there's other stuff as well uh, to do with children and families that uh, has really been going on for over a year as well. Where yes. we're Programs trying to help to families. And particularly help, help parents be good parents. <laughs> yes. And some really amazing, inspiring work that I feel uh, some of the members have already done. And I'm, yeah. I'm really encouraging them to, to get some documentation of that together so that we can share that with the public already. Yeah. Because I think a lot of you will be really interested in in all the work that we're doing. But or even be one of those families who, 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 who gets that uh, in-house yeah. visit uh, yeah. <laughs> for a month or so, sorting out your family issues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very well worth yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so we've, uh, we want to thank everyone for their donations um, so far, yeah. and there have been people donating to God's Way, so we appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so there's many people who, who had donated just because I've heard about it, yeah. they, and they haven't heard much at this stage because no. we haven't shared much, and that's yeah. part of the problem. We need yeah. to share more. And, and so we've got an actual information sharing program now that is invo yeah. involved in that process, yeah. which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, yeah. well, we are. Well, we want to talk about just... our volunteers a bit first, don't yeah. we? Because because uh, obviously all the volunteers have to pass a volunteer selection program. So that's mm -hmm. the first thing. They pass the volunteer selection program and then they just volunteer based on how much they feel like they want to volunteer. But if there's volunteers that want to live it, mm -hmm. and there are some who basically change their life quite significantly after passing the program, and, and they want to live the, the life that we're living, basically, because yeah. it is an enjoyable life, as you yeah. can imagine, you get... Yeah to all of the, do all these different jobs a lot of them are all restor restorative in their nature so mm -hmm. they're restoring the environment or constructions or mm -hmm. or you know helping families or individuals and so they're, they're, there's a lot of really lovely projects uh, that to be involved in so a lot of people who volunteer after they pass it go they oh, I want to be involved in it full time <laughs> what am I thinking of you know <laughs> of course I want to do that and so they change their life and if they do that for a period of 6 months then they are able to become a member. Mm. And members, uh, depending on their circumstances, depending on the funds they have available, may receive uh, you know, subsidies mm. to help them live so that they don't have to go and work for, you know, they, they're working basically as full time as we can make it on God's Way projects. Mm -hmm. But that is dependent on uh, these private people yeah. uh, which, having the capacity, having to, the fund capacity to fund it. So Mary yeah. and I fund it yeah. and, and, and after, at the moment Catherine Spence and Eloisa Lytton Hitchens fund it mm -hmm. and, and that's all, they're the only people at the moment that fund this volunteer mm -hmm. uh, stipend process mm -hmm. or, or subsidy, subsidy process. And so, so what we're trying to do there is get to the stage where the, the, the people who become members who are full-time helpers and um, they have a way to live because otherwise without receiving donations from people mm. they've got no way to live mm. and then they've got to go off to work and as soon as they go off to work they can't work on the projects mm -hmm. and so forth so so having these subsidies helps them live yeah. and uh, and so our goal is to continue with this subsidy process mm -hmm. until each member is receiving enough donations individually mm -hmm. to support themselves. Mm -hmm. And then once they receive enough donations individually to support themselves, they no longer receive the subsidy. And then that subsidy can go to another member yeah. who can't support themselves yeah. until they work through whatever it is mm -hmm. they need to work through and you know do whatever they need to do to become a person who can support themselves financially. And eventually what we're hoping is for almost every member of God's Way to have a private subsidy process going yes. on from all different people around the world. Like, it's like your own personal, um, what do you call it nowadays? They have these crowdfunding or something. Crowdfunding type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of like crowdfunding individuals to participate in, in God's Way projects. Mm -hmm. And that's how we see the members surviving. Yeah. Eventually, because the God's Way charter is that we don't want to spend money on members or, mm -hmm. or directors. So the members of directors still need to survive. So how do they survive? They've got to survive from some other source of funds. Mm -hmm. And this crowdfunding way of, of, of supporting them is the best way of supporting them, as well as God's way itself getting supported by donations given to it and basically crowdfunding. Yeah. Basically, yeah, it's yeah. the same <laughs> type of funding yeah. that we use there to support all of the God's way activities mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So that's our general overall goal, if you like, in yeah. God's way. And uh, obviously, one of the things we need to do is share th that information with you, yes. <laughs> you know, with, so with, our, with, with our listeners. Let's talk a little bit specifically about what we're doing with information sharing. Yeah. So um, at the moment, we have a whole branch of the organisation called information sharing. And within that branch in future, there'll be a lot of things shared in terms of formal documents, transcripts, um, videos, videos uh, all kinds of uh, different multimedia presentations that are basically sharing um, knowledge that we've gained through experiments and trialing different processes in God's way 
that we, because one of our main purposes is to benefit the world through the practical application of divine truth or God's principles in all kinds of areas of life, life. every kind of field of endeavor you could think of, mm. some of God's principles apply to. So we want to take activities in those different fields, apply God's principles and create processes that can be replicated by people all over the world and it will benefit not just themselves but their whole environment, everyone in the world. Yeah. So that's our deep passion. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, but within the information, that's our long term probably. As we're getting started, what, we, what we're doing is just, we've got a blog via the God's Way website, and I'll tell you where to find that at the end. No, just say, um, say it now. Okay, yeah. We'll say it at the end as well. But. All right, it's um, blog.godsway.net. But you can also get to it just by typing godsway.net or yes. www.godsway.net. Godsway. Got so just so. godsway.net is that's, what it is. That's where you'll find us. <laughs> and you can subscribe to a blog there. And um, what we're working on at the moment is just providing you with really regular updates of all these different activities that we're raving on about right here. Um, some more specifics about what we're doing and also so you get a feel for who the directors are, who the members are and what it is uh, we're working towards as we're getting, uh, we're gathering data and starting projects before we get that formal documentation in place. We want you to know what we're doing and what we're working towards. So, mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing with information sharing at this moment. Yeah. yeah, and obviously the information sharing branch of the organisation is going to be very, very busy because it. Mm -hmm. it and what what we're trying to do is train every volunteer and every member to be involved in information sharing. Mm -hmm. Eventually, to the stage where they can actually deliver, you know, presentations. Yeah. Where they visit, you know, farmers or, or families, families or, or whatever, youth groups, or, and actually um, deliver information yeah. that is divine truth, basically in practice. Yeah. And and these kind of activities are going to be very important for the future. So every member needs to become versed in how to share information, mm -hmm. and so that's why it's a requirement of each member. Uh, the directors have decided to place that requirement on each member. If you don't want to share information, then how passionate are you about God's <laughs> way, really? <laughs> and, and this is what I meant earlier yeah. about the members being stretched in all different directions, mm. because uh, some of us have aptitudes in certain areas where we don't have much fear, we feel quite comfortable. Yeah. Others, you know, uh, we have petrified. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's yeah. wonderful the way that all the members are, are engaging with this information sharing and challenging their blocks in that in that way with yeah. being transparent or using different the written word or using the photos and videos and all kinds of things. So our, our goal as an organisation over, you know, as a God's Way organisation over the next uh, few months is to do more information sharing so that you can see what's going on. Yeah. And that way, as people watching, you, you get to see what's going on. And also a lot of what we do, you might be able to actually put into practice in your own life. And even uh, like there are there are plans for buildings and all sorts of things going on. So Jesus uh, is so creative shared. as well. He's done a, 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 as we he's been um, leading the construction projects and uh, in that process, he just came up with a whole heap of ideas, even for shipping container housing. And so uh, what we're going to do, while we're not going to use all of those designs in practice, we'll share them with you. Uh, so you can, you know, uh, shipping containers are, are really interesting what you can do. And, and there's, there's a lot, there's millions of them at the moment that are going to waste yeah. around the world. Yeah. And uh, many of them are never going to get used again, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And, and even people uh, constructing with shipping containers are often purchasing them newly constructed rather than using ones that are already sitting around. And so, yeah. yeah and, and it's amazing what you can do with them if you yeah. think about it, you know. Yeah. So there's all sorts of things like that that, uh, that we'll also be sharing. Yeah. And, and our goal in the end is to share everything so that anyone in the world can utilise it. Yeah. That's the whole goal. Yeah. Um, so, so the purpose of it is that we do as much as we can to generate information and then share all that information with the world as much as we can. Yeah. And a lot of the information has been tried and tested. In other words, we've done something with it. Yes. We've had to develop something with it. We've done it. We've actually done, you know, in the case of the environmental projects, we've actually done every single environmental project mm -hmm. that we suggest works. Yeah. We've a we actually have tested and know it works. Practically implemented it. So, yeah. so, you know, there's a whole lot of practical things there. But there's also a lot of things we'd like to do, which we haven't got the resources uh, or people to do at this stage, like measuring the results 
from a from a data collection perspective you know there's all that that also needs to happen but we just don't have enough time the members <laughs> yes. don't have enough time to do everything obviously. that's right and there's a lot of there's probably phases that i see in terms of what the organization does i have a, a big dream to be able to create uh you know scientific data about a lot of the things so to be able to scientifically analyze and create experiments that are robust enough that they can, that they stand up to, they, they're valid. They stand up to scientific, scientific scrutiny. Yes. Mm. Uh, so I, I, that's, a, that's another kind of longer range vision that I have. Uh, at the moment, we're just doing things in terms of, we're measuring things in, a, um, we're taking photos and we're, you know, showing befores and after and it, we're, we're doing some degree of measurement but I'd like to see us be able to have the membership and the skills within our members to be able to really get some good scientific data. Yeah. That's the future. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, in terms of skills, like there's some people who do video production, there's yeah. some people who do audio production, there's some people who do engineering, there's some people who do environmental engineering, there's mm -hmm. some people who do construction, there's some people who, who do architectural drawings and yeah. planning, and there's some people you know, uh, and it just goes on and on and on in terms of the skills mm -hmm. that we're utilising to get all these things done. And obviously, pretty much any skill is, is <laughs> user, usable in some way. But we find it's not so much the skills that are the problem, because no. you can always train skills. Yep. It's how trainable the individual is. How, how passionate are they about God's way? Do they really believe in it? Or are they just like saying they do and not really putting it into application? <laughs> That's right. The, these are the more important criteria for the selection of our members. Yeah. And, and our members are having to confront within themselves. Uh, some of them have been trained in the world's way of, you know, they're qualified builders or, or something like that. And now we're trying to break the mold a little bit and do things God's way. Yeah. And they're having to deal with personal emotions of like, how is the world going to perceive me doing this or, yeah. or all kinds of things. So yeah. it's, a, it's. And also, how, how do I develop something from scratch, you yeah. know, rather than using Following. somebody else's developments? Yeah. And so, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that people are having to address emotionally. And because we're doing a lot of development on the development and investigation and research side, a lot of our research and development doesn't actually have a practical application until years later. Mm -hmm. And people are often quite annoyed about that because you know, <laughs> most people want to see result for what they've done uh, rather than seeing a whole heap of results that failed. Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, you're going to have to be learn to be patient with that process of new research and development. Science, that's the probably the little understood uh thing about science is that for every success there's usually a massive Hundreds amount of, of investigation and mm. failures and uh, um, refinement of ideas yeah 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 so the, the organization's getting established right now mm. and we've only been going what's now two years i think coming up and uh, and even then it's really just this year that we've kind of kicked into gear isn't it yeah because we're, you know the members are starting to get behind everything now and you know, we, because we've now got more members who can do everything. Uh, you know, from the from the from the three uh, people who are sharing the subsidies. Yes, it means that the, there's the f the five members who normally had to go off and work. Mm -hmm. They are now able to work full time, mm -hmm. and so that means you get a lot more done. Yeah, and so you know that's really great as well. So as it turns out, the, you know, things are now starting to progress in the way we feel they should progress. Mm -hmm. And obviously things will change as we get more members, and, but it does require a lot of sincerity in the member. It yeah. does, yeah. it does. Mm. <laughs> So that's right. God's way update, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot more we can be said because there's a lot going on. I but, could but, go um, on. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, we just wanted to give you as brief a summary as we possibly could, <laughs> um, bearing in mind that you know there's there's eight people working five days every fortnight to get a lot of jobs done. You can see that that works out to you know hundreds of hours every fortnight working mm. on these projects. Mm. So obviously, um, you know, sharing information about that is our next you know, challenge, yeah. because, uh, you know, unless we share information about that, none of you really know what's going on. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's something that I've, I'm really passionate about in God's way is that we're not all talk, like uh, it's easy to talk, 
it's when we act that we display um it, it, that we create the potential for actual results and things that will benefit yeah. people, but also we display our integrity and our sincerity and That's our aspiration. Right. Yeah. yeah, so we, we, in some ways, probably discourage a lot of talking. Yeah. Um, you know, you're either sincere or you're not sincere, yeah. and you're either going to do something or you're not. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, do we have to talk about it for another hundred hours before you do with it? Yeah. No, yeah. none of us want to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's get on with things, yeah. you know, and deal with the things we need to deal with emotionally mm-hmm. so that we can get on with things. That, that's the approach we take. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the day-to-day approach you and I have to life. And what we're trying to do is help people in God's way have the same day-to-day approach. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, well, let's talk now about what our plans are. You and I, Jesus and Mary, our plans and priorities for the rest of this year, 2018, and heading into 2019. Mm -hmm. We're busy. Busy beavers. Busy. (laughs) But but one of the things we're trying to do is still get a week where every fortnight where we're dealing with our own things. You know, both of us have uh, identified now things that we need to address and deal with emotionally. And now we just need the time to deal with it. And, and that's been our main difficulty, getting the time to, yeah. to deal with things. So our personal progression has maybe, well, for yourself, you've been so busy, haven't you, for really two years. Yeah, solid two years. Solid yeah. two yeah. years. And y- you haven't had enough time for your personal progress. No, and I, I need to change that. Yeah. And I, I recognise I need to change that. But I also know that I need to change that when certain things are done, mm. after certain things are done, because if I, if I don't get those things done, then everybody else is affected by yeah. those particular things that everyone's waiting on me to do. Yeah. So it is a bit of a balancing act for me at the moment in terms of my personal progression as to how much I can personally uh, you know, contribute to the organisations, mm. uh, Divine Truth and God's Way and how much I also need to get some time for myself. Yeah, Mm. yeah. So I am trying to work on getting a bit more time for myself and and backing off on some of these other projects. But it is good that some of these projects are also coming to a sort of completion. Mm -hmm. And that means that I will have automatically have uh, more time available for my own progression. Yeah, 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 which will be great. And for myself, I've had the benefit of some time for my progression. I feel like, um, you know, there's some areas that have come really into sharp focus that I've been neglecting for a while. I feel like i um, had some changes in my relationship with God just this year, which has been wonderful. But there's certain areas to do with our soulmate relationship that I've been skipping over quite a lot. And mm. that's certainly becoming a priority for me now moving forward. And mm. Yeah. yeah. So. so we're both sort of wanting to focus on those things, on mm. uh, on those things more. Um, and it is sometimes difficult to focus on those things more when there's so many other people waiting on you to get certain things done. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, we do need to focus on those things more. And that's what we're hoping to do over the few, next few months. But there there is a lot going on over the next few months as well obviously yes. so on the busy weeks the weeks that we actually have as our busy weeks um you know we often have a fairly like busy a very busy busy week <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's yeah. from from first thing in the morning till sundown we're pretty much going we have a sleep we get up we do it again <laughs> exactly for, for five, five days. days and then and then you know, a lot, and unfortunately, a lot of that work on the busy week, sometimes I don't get done because I've got to wait till everyone's gone before I can get some yes. things done. And so that means that it encroaches into my off time. But I'm still trying. I'm trying to get five days mm. uh, straight at times. Mm. But uh, like last week, it was two, you know. Yeah. But, but, you know, the, the more I can get these five day breaks, the better I'm going to be to be able to process some of the things I need to process through. Yeah, and mm. it, we need to be careful, don't we? Because the, as things grow, it's wonderful to have all these people coming online and doing a lot of things, but um, none of it's going to get very far if you and I neglect our personal progress because... And uh, each resistive person takes up far more time than a non-resistive person does. Yeah. So, you know, you know that's what, why we're so firm on that because every resistive person finishes up taking huge amounts of our time yeah. and we don't get enough time left for ourselves then. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the things we ha- have improved on is, you know, not, not uh, pandering to people's resistance mm-hmm. and not 
um, you know, being highly tolerant of people's resistance all the time. Yeah. So that, that's been a good bit of progress that we've both, both done. But we also both need time to just process some things emotionally. Mm -hmm. With me, I've got to process some things about soulmate relationship and also process things about some things about God. Mm -hmm. uh, and my own sense of self as well yeah. and to do those things i need time by myself and yesterday yeah. like stuart did a stuart spirit stuart did an interview with me about mm -hmm. some of my stuff in the past that i've had to deal with and and you know you can see from that interview that one of the biggest problems i've got is just addressing some of those issues like getting the time and yeah. also the environment because anybody in my environment usually projects at me about you know not dealing they don't want me to deal with those issues yeah. so so getting it has to be private time that i yeah. that i need to deal with those issues yeah 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 mm. so there's l lessons of um love of, of ourselves self. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 which is important it is mm. it is all right, well, let's talk a little bit about what we want to create in terms of divine truth material because we have so many exciting plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many things we still, like we feel there's so many things that we've not discussed in the past yeah. that are very important to actually discuss at some point. But getting the time to prep them and do them is difficult. Yes. Uh, in amongst, particularly in amongst all the other things we're doing with God's Way. So getting the time to prep these things, because we want them prepped, because if we get them prepped, then um, they are, th there's this clipping and all these other functions that are all dependent upon that. So, so obviously over the next few months, we're going to be spending a lot of our time prepping the assistance group, mm -hmm. the understanding synonyms that causes assistance group. And, and, yeah, and that, that material, I feel, it just can be so impactful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, that needs to be done. Then there's preparation for these kind of discussions mm -hmm. that we have, not, not about news and announcements, but, <laughs> you know, about different things regarding God's laws and God's truth and, and spirit interactions and so forth and, and, and all of the different things associated with God's truth that we still have to share a fair bit about yeah. all that. We've yet to have an exhaustive conversation about conscience, for example, yes. which is the major mechanism by which you receive truth from God. And there's a whole heap of things, really, that we need to have conversations about. Mm -hmm. but, but it just gets down to how much time is there in a day, you know. Like, <laughs> That's right. Um, so we do want to... We still have a lot to talk about in terms of forgiveness and repentance. We want to get some practical examples of that theory that we've spoken about for a lot of this year. So that'll be um, happening in the next few presentations, won't it? It will. Yeah. It yeah. will. There's still some things that I would like to speak with you about, to interview you about, about really the purpose of the assistance group series to give people a bit of context as to why it's so crucial, what it is we're talking about. Yeah, so we have all that assistance group series plus the Q&As, obviously. Yeah, so uh, FAQ, or, you yeah, know, yeah, people's the, questions people's arising questions from that material. The group, yeah, and the material. So yeah. that all has to be done, yeah. Yes. And we're still yet to begin our fundamental truths discussions. And I'm very excited for them to start. Yeah. I yeah. feel that, that yeah. you know, years ago you did the Secrets of the Universe presentations and that was a point of entry for a lot of people to divine truth it's been so long since they were presented um, that a lot of people now that's not their first point of entry no. but they come to they come to the material they engage with something that they find quite interesting but there's a lot of kind of fundamentals that were laid out in those secrets of the universe presentations which people miss which people miss and it would be great to have them in the format we're, we're proposing which is really almost clips um, that or sort of teaching clips, teaching really. clips yeah. that really cover the basic fundamentals of the universe, of the human soul, yeah. what the purpose and meaning of life is all about on earth and in the spirit life. And so I can't wait for you to really start. And you po you will possibly present them straight to camera, Pro not even probably. in an interview format. Yeah, probably. Um, the, the, the issue with them is they do take a lot of preparation time and time is my major problem at the moment. Because you, you want know. them to be quite comprehensive, don't you, and stand alone. And so you want to... Yes, probably some... rather than comprehensive, maybe a better word would be concise. Yes. Because um, I, want, I want them to be quite concise. And I'd also like the diagrams to be quite concise mm -hmm. so that people can understand what you're saying to them about things. And, mm -hmm. and I want to start with God, you know, discussion about God, because really one thing that we haven't done, 
that is desperate to be done is is stuff about God's character and nature. Yeah. And 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 I know that most people haven't wanted to hear it. The mm-hmm. reality is that most people who are drawn to divine truth is not interested in the divine part of truth. <laughs> And the main reason why that is, is because we first are drawn by our personal pain to something generally. Yeah. So, so we feel some personal pain. We want, you know, to find out some things about how to improve our life. And so a lot of the times we're quite self-absorbed about what kind of truth we're looking for initially. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, if we're looking for truth at all. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, when it comes to God's truth and the truth about God, which I feel is the most important truth. Yeah. A lot of that hasn't, well, I have not, not presented a lot of information there. And, and there needs to be a lot of information yes. presented there that is not presented at this mm-hmm. stage. And so, um, you know, this is where the Fundamental Truths program will help quite a lot because it'll, it'll open people up to God and God's truth and God's laws and God's character and God's nature and all those kind of things mm-hmm. as a part of that process. Mm-hmm. But you know, that all does take time to develop. And, and obviously, you know, our time is pretty um, is, is pretty tightly uh, scheduled at this at, stage. At this stage. <laughs> so it's coming. Another thing that I would really like to do in the new year is um, this year I've challenged myself a little bit more with mediumship. So you probably would have noticed we've done some more mediumship on camera. In the past, I was always quite shy about doing that. And so there's a lot of audio files that exist on the website of me- past mediumship. But um, this year, we've, you know, we've been doing more of it here in the studio and I've really enjoyed it. And mm. I feel quite privileged um, to have shared some of the stories. Um, Stuart is a great character who, uh, great you know, friend of ours now who's emerged from those those series. But what I'd like to do in the new year is really um, develop myself more as a medium. I feel like there's still a lot of areas for improvement in myself in terms of my own spiritual development, which will enable me to um, really, I want to be able to deliver uh, messages from spirits where people can um, test to test the mediumship, if you like, to be able to, you know, get names, dates, uh, all these kinds of things correct, and also um, is, deliver information that can help build, basically, I'm saying essentially to build people's faith in the spirit world and the yeah. spirit life. And Because um, we find a lot of people who listen to our seminars mostly listen to mediumship. Yeah. But interestingly enough, we don't feel a strong belief in mm. the spirit world. Mm-hmm. or what we're saying about it. Yeah. So, so that's interesting in that there's a deep fascination for the subject, yeah. while at the same time not a lot of belief. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I understand in a way the fascination because it's sort of like, wow, real, really? Wow, you know? Um, and uh, even coming to mediumship, you know, within my own family, there's a fair bit of judgment and sort of cynicism about that, uh, mm. th- that potential. And... Um, I've even had to work through emotions about that and even just to engage it for mm. myself. But so I guess I'm saying I understand why people have this sort of this feeling of like, really? Or oh, I don't want to be an idiot or be stupid and believe something that's not real. Mm. So I just would like to really um, continue to develop my capacity to do that in a really accurate way. And also uh, the good part of that too, besides helping the spirits themselves, is that we help people on earth to see that that what you go through on earth is very similar in a lot of ways to what you're going to have to go through if you don't do it on earth. Mm-hmm. And, and so hopefully give people a bit more uh, faith about God's way yeah. rather than just always choosing their own way and calling it God's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's yeah. the amazing thing, isn't it, about the spirit experiences is that you get to see, well, goodness, in the spirit world god's laws and principles are far more um uh reflected in the immediacy of the environment they're always reflected i know yeah but 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 that being said a lot of spirits don't notice that just like a lot of people on earth don't notice it but when we hear their stories and you speak to them about it then it becomes very apparent doesn't it correct it's only because they now notice it yes or or being called it's been called to their attention (laughs) yeah you know that that's yeah. how it changes it and this is often the case on earth too though you know on earth oftentimes in conversations with people we talk about things or you know data the world whatever 
but we're very rarely in our conversations with each other call call to attention the you know the specific issues of love that are involved in these things and as a result we we are often just as blind mm -hmm. uh, to issues of love as any as any person would be and that, and and any spirit who first passes is mm. um, and that's why we are blind when mm -hmm. we first pass because mm -hmm. we've been blind on earth <laughs> absolutely it does there's no magic that happens just because you leave your physical body yeah there's this yeah. very common concept in spiritual circles that as soon as you leave your spirit body you're all of a sudden you know a highly developed individual who knows everything and and nothing could be further from the truth, actually. And, uh, and it's time that, you know, people started facing some of these truths about their future. Yeah. Because if you, if you can see that, ah, oh, the future is real, mm. the, the future spirit life is real, then you can see that, ah, oh, you know, all the things you're worried about here on Earth, many of them don't really matter. Mm. Um, they, you know, they, they need to be addressed in a different way, usually, than what we are currently addressing them. And we make things matter on Earth that don't really matter too. Yeah, and, we and, place so much importance on things. Yeah, that... and as soon as you pass, you realise what a silly thing that was, yeah. you know, because yeah. now I'm left at this place where I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. um, and all of those things I thought mattered, they're not here. Yeah, all the things about. I yeah. gathered around me to help me avoid myself, uh, physical things or even certain relationships or substances, gee, they're not here with me now. Yeah, well, that, that's not strictly true. You know, you can... You can be earthbound and still get them of course but but you know the reality is if you know about that in advance then you, at least you might have some reflection about what you're doing instead of <laughs> instead of just doing it without thinking yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah. so so that's a big desire of mine to yeah and develop that more um just because i feel it has a power to assist people on earth yeah, yeah. we want to get to the stage don't we where we are able to say to people exactly what spirits around them are saying to them right at the time and and prove to the person who we're engaging with that spirit you know the whole concept of spirits is true is a yeah. truth a fundamental truth actually yeah um rather than you know people thinking that oh it's just an idea or a concept that mm. may or may not be true and in the mm. first century we had that kind of development and yeah. it's sort of frustrating not to have it yeah, you know, we're, as moment. you know, people would have heard yesterday in my conversation with Stuart. You know, sometimes it is quite frustrating comparing yourself with your past self. But you know, we are trying to develop on those particular things, and and we need time, obviously, to do that. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah, personal time, not time doing all these other things. Yeah, that's right, because it is very much. It's it. Um, so, for example, my capacity as a medium is very much dependent on my own spiritual progression. Mm. So, unless I focus on that, my, I will have a limited ability in that regard. And, and therefore a limited impact. A limited impact. Mm. And uh, that's a lesson that's, um, yeah. that's really... So, we're both becoming very conscious of the fact that, you know, we need, we need to focus more attention on our own progression. Mm and less attention on what's happening around us mm. because you know in the end it is your progression that determines what you're able to do in the future mm. yeah and i feel for yourself darling like you you it's almost like sometimes i feel like you're pulling the rest of us up by our bootstraps not not a lot of times us. i feel like i'm fighting uh, fighting to pull myself up you know like that's that's, that's what i mean sad thing sometimes and i see a lot of your energy going into we talked about how there's a group now working here together each fortnight and I, I see a lot of your energy and emotional resources going into assisting us to even like begin to develop You've already put so much of your personal aspiration and time into your own development, but it's almost like uh, over the past couple of years, a lot of us, you know, th there's been a pull on you not to progress any further mm. because that's challenging for all of us. Mm. And then you've you've invested a lot of time in assisting us to grow a little bit, but it's it's almost like we have to change that whole dynamic now and just say you go for it. Yeah, so a person who's progressing, you basically you basically need to let them learn to let them progress. Like, yeah. um, you know, most people don't. You know, they they're too self-involved. They go, oh, 
if he progresses or she progresses, I'm going to feel this way or that yeah. way and I don't want that, yeah. so I'm going to try to stop them. And yeah. you see that a lot in a marriage yeah. even, yeah. don't you, where, yeah. where one party starts to progress and the other party gets challenged by it and then they go, oh, I'm going to try to stop that person from making that change because it challenges me. Mm. And that's all about personal resistance to emotion yes. and feeling what you feel yeah. and owning and taking responsibility for what you feel. Yeah. And I feel that's something that our participants in the God's Way have had to learn, you know, and still need to learn a lot about, mm. um, you know, taking full personal responsibility for your own emotional condition and mm. not relying on another person to do that work for you. Yeah. Not relying on another person to have to overcome your resistance and not relying on another person to have to inspire you. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, every person in the end should be responsible for their own aspiration. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And no one else really can be anyway responsible for your aspiration. You, well, yeah, but, if, but people, that when you're not responsible for your own aspiration, you automatically force another person to be responsible for, for inspiration your, and for resistance, yeah, your resistance. Your resistance. So the problem is that when you aren't driving your own progression and being passionately involved in your own progression, you are now automatically placing a responsibility on other people. Mm. And now they don't have to accept it, but frequently you are angrily forcing them to accept it. Mm. And that is a major problem. And, and that's been a problem you know, in the organisation to a large degree as well, where everyone has their levels of resistance and then they are expecting me to overcome their resistance. And even their aspirations haven't been highly developed. Almost every program in God's Way has been initially developed by myself because of my aspirations. Mm -hmm. But everyone needs to learn to start developing their own programs and developing their own desire to see whether that program they're developing is in harmony with God's laws or not. Yeah. And, and these are still areas of growth that need to occur. Yeah. And, uh, and I do find it sometimes difficult because, you know, the more time you spend with people, oftentimes it's the less time you get for yourself and you've got to be quite balanced there and yeah. and i certainly need to be better balanced there you know than i have been in the past mm. 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 um obviously god's way leadership and mentoring that's something that will probably continue to take up a bit of our time just after we've said that you need more time for yourself um the fact is god's way is still going to be a part of our priorities moving forward for the next couple of years and that's that's because um there's certain principles of God's truth that that really in some regards only you are fully aware of and then myself from having lived with you for so long and looked at some of these matters and obviously having a other half of your soul and hmm. you know <laughs> there's more of a feeling in both of us for the principles got so that's where I see our role is is it's not so much about the generation of projects and programs, even though that is still largely reliant on yourself. Mm. It's more about guiding people's um, ideas and providing a bit of a measure of uh, is your plan in harmony with God's principles or is your potential solution in harmony with God's principles? That's really where I'd like to see our attention being focused. Yeah, and uh, obviously... Anybody can do that based on development. Mm. And so obviously the development of the members mm. as individuals is more important than any program we engage. Yeah. Now, I did say this in the in the annual general meeting discussion yes. I had with the members. Which and should be going up on the God's Way. Oh, it's already up, I think. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah. it's already up on our Divine Truth yeah. channel and it should be up on God's Way at some point in the future. Yeah. But it, it's a, you know, People need to come to terms with the fact that unless development occurs emotionally and, and spiritually, other problems automatically are introduced into a, into a working solution yep. that are not in harmony with God's principles and laws. And so, you know, that, that, that's an issue as well. And, mm. and I feel like, yeah, the mentoring and uh, God's way, directors and members is going to be an important process. But again, I've got, you've got to be careful because 
you can sometimes do too much there and not yeah. have them learn through yeah. some experience. Yeah. And you can also sometimes do too little and have spirits take the whole organisation away from you yeah. through the influence they have over individuals. Yeah. And uh, and you really need to have a balance there as well. Yeah. So sometimes there's urgent things that crop up there where we go, yeah, your whole organisation's now off on a different <laughs> track and you need to pull it back in line because this is a way out of harmony with God's way. And you know? it's really funny, isn't it? What I've noticed over the past year is just, just one decision by a member, seemingly a small decision, but if it's made in direct disharmony with one of God's principles, the situation can rapidly become... Yeah, we've had a number of times that's happened. Uh, something that we have to... It, it has the potential, there's a flow-on series of decisions or impacts upon other people that mean that almost the whole operations are suddenly in jeopardy. Grind to a halt. Yeah, or, yeah <laughs> and, and so yeah. that's a, it's a wonderful <clears throat> demonstration of how when we don't honour God's principles, how much negative influence uh, can happen and how many um, repercussions there can be yeah. uh, very rapidly. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So, you know, that is something, it is a management process, obviously, mm. that we're going through there just to keep God's way on track because yeah. it's very important to us that it stays on track and, um, and very important to us that it slowly grows, but also every member grows mm. not 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 people get stuck in the mud and and don't grow and then impose all of their lack of growth decisions upon others mm. in the organization so. and and i always feel the only way for the organization to really grow solidly is for the growth of each of the members yeah. to occur otherwise <laughs> you know I and in that meeting i did outline you know clearly to the members the importance of that but you don't you know, the trouble with any discussion is that you don't personally apply it generally mm. until you realise the importance personally. <laughs> yeah. And the trouble for, for many, many of the people associated with Divine Truth is many of us still don't really get the importance of the emotional work that needs mm. to be done in order to make a true shift out of one condition and into a better condition. Mm. And uh, unless we really understand that, uh, we're, we're not we're not growing even though we've got more knowledge. Mm. So we might have more intellectual knowledge in our brain, yeah. but at the end of the day, unless it's applied in the heart and, and, and actually changed us, it, it's, we're not going to change our actions. Mm. So there's many people who have heard Divine Truth now, very few change their actions. Yeah. And that proves your sincerity, whether you're changing your actions or not really. Yeah. Uh, and true change of actions requires processing of an emotion. Yes not trying to change your action. That's right, because it so, doesn't matter. If that emotion's in you, it's going to fit. And we can't emphasise that enough. No. <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm still emphasising that fundamental truth to most of our members still. Yeah. Even today we had a discussion yeah. with, with one member and still emphasising, unless you change this emotion, <laughs> nothing's going to change. <laughs> it doesn't matter what other directions I give you or what you try to fix you're still physically, gonna, you're still it's going to come what out. what you want to do yeah. because you don't want to change <laughs> yeah. this emotion. Yeah. <laughs> and unless yeah. you change this emotion, nothing's really going to change. And we can talk about it for the next month, but if you don't want to change the emotion, then do you, are you really a member now or are you just saying you're a member? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. So th these are the kind of things that we want to continue focusing our attention on in God's way. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's very good. Um, of course, you as our systems administrator across both organisations, you're going to be still involved with the data for Divine Truth and God's Way moving forward. Mm -hmm. And that is a, another big time commitment. Um, we, yeah, um, we really would like to attract a systems administrator in God's Way. Yeah, it, it needs to be a very skilled person, but it also needs to be a pretty developed one who is passionate about God's Way. Mm. And, you know, there's not, I've not found any at this stage who are passionate about God's way. And, you know, most people who have the skills I have could easily earn overseas a few hundred thousand dollars or more per annum. And they're talking from going from that lifestyle into, you know, living on, you know, $20,000 or so <laughs> per annum. Yeah. You know, it's not very, and that's not very attractive. <laughs> no, it's for most <laughs> if, people. If you're not passionate yeah. about the, uh, you yeah. know, About the way, God's the way. way itself. Yeah. And uh, that's why, you know, most of them are fully involved in their personal life rather than really wanting to be involved in this process, you yeah. know. 
And, and I always knew that would be a problem because mm -hmm. the more highly skilled a person is in the world's affairs, yep. generally the more highly paid they are yeah. and also the more highly addicted they are to their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes very, very difficult for them to consider changing their entire lifestyle uh, for a period of time at least mm -hmm. in order to help a, a fledgling organisation grow and, and do things God's way. Yeah. Notwithstanding the fact that many uh, people who, are who have technical skills have had a life of trying to please their clients mm -hmm. rather than a life of trying to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's a whole heap of emotional reasons too why many people with technical skills don't want to live this life mm. uh, because they, you know, they're too busy pleasing the lives of others generally. Yeah. Uh, to live a life where other people are not pleased mm. with you, you know, mm. generally, well, not initially, necessarily. initially yeah. anyway. Not necessarily pleased, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes to find yeah. a person who is a systems administrator who can program and, and do, you know, and ha has a vast amount of operating system and networking knowledge mm. to maintain our system. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that, you know, that, that is a problem that we're just going to have to manage over the coming years until yeah. such a time as we find the person passionate about those things. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, and the final thing we wanted to mention, which we've already spoken about quite a bit during our update, is uh, about the assistance groups. That's probably the next time we'll see some of you, uh, which yeah. will they'll be happening in February and March of 2019. Mm. We'll be coming with a whole, almost a brand new technical team. Lena is still with us, mm -hmm. um, but we have all new helpers. New faces. Uh, yeah. Cornelius, he's also with us. That's, he was with uh, us yeah. last time, but mm -hmm. um, we've got some new faces coming along to help out, which is really exciting. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting some of you for the first time, mm. some new people. Yeah, and that's what we love about you get a chance overseas. for eight days to, to yep. sort of meet different people over that period of time, yep. which is different than a normal seminar because a normal seminar you might have a few hundred people rock up, but you don't get to have any personal uh, interactions with them. And usually by the time they're wanting one with you, you're exhausted from <laughs> yeah. talking for four or five yeah. hours already. So it's not yeah. very pleasant for us uh, having those kind of interactions, yeah. whereas at the group is a little bit different. A it? little bit, which is not to say that we're not busy at the group, but no, yeah. But we um, do have every second, every third day, every third day off. break sort of thing yeah. where we get to see people and, yeah. and uh, you know, those kind of things are quite good. It's just really lovely. Mm. Yeah. So, so that's what we're going to be up to for the next little while. Um, yeah. And probably in closing, we'd like to thank everyone again for your donations. We really appreciate them. Yeah, and, and, and to thank our volunteers yeah. as well who help us out. And there's a lot of volunteers uh, who, we again, we probably haven't mentioned much about them, but who are involved in the transcription team. And that, and that is a, in a lot of ways, is a bit of a thankless sort of a job mm -hmm. because, because you, you, you do a lot of, like, work yeah. and, and people just get the document, read it, and, <laughs> and they don't right. think yeah. about all this work that's gone yeah. into it, you know. And, yeah. and so uh, we'd really like to thank our uh, volunteer team who handles that. Because obviously uh, people on the transcription team are from all over the world. That is one job that people can do remotely. And exactly. And we don't actually get to meet a lot of you even um, some of over you we many know. years, yeah, many over, times, but yeah. over many years, some of you have been uh, volunteering. We know you're there, and we really appreciate you. We just yeah. haven't had the chance to, um, to. We pass our thanks via Barbara, who leads that team. Yeah, yeah. One of the things we'd like to do next year is maybe a bit of a trip. It would be um, great. Yeah. We're, we've racked up so many, uh, you know, points on our credit cards and that for flights <laughs> 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 that uh, you know we'd like to do a trip overseas at some point but we'd also like to see it recorded so that yeah. this is a big problem for us so you know while we'd like to do a trip we also want to see it recorded and that's where we start running into logistical nightmares really yeah. uh, when we travel without having a team that we can travel with and as soon as you when you start looking at ter traveling with a team it's very expensive it's already expensive enough to mm. do it with just uh, two mm. of us but as soon as you look at a team traveling well, it gets very expensive then, you know, in terms yeah. of, uh, you know, looking after the videoing and the audio and all that kind of yeah. thing with regard to a presentation or a seminar. So, so we're still debating a lot about how to have our interactions with our overseas people. Mm -hmm. 
And one of the things that we're thinking of doing is having some things where we have some technology where we can do co like a video conferencing type of yeah. system. Like a webinar or a... Uh, yeah, it yeah. does require the setup of some new technology on our part, mm -hmm. and, but it also requires the proper uh, use of that technology on the other end. Yeah. And, and, and since somebody who's, someone like myself who's technical, needs to be on the other end, mm -hmm. it's often or difficult to organise unless you've got a good person on the other end to organise all the technology. Yeah. And, um, and that's where we're running into trouble there. Yeah. So while a seminar or a webinar might sound attractive, I would just get on Skype or something. Yeah. Um, it's not that simple for us because we want to share the information and, and doing a poor production doesn't help sharing it. Yeah. As anybody will know, looking at our old videos, there's a lot of good information there but unfortunately, the production is so poor that it impacts upon the reception of the information. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't want that to happen in the future. So we are still debating about those kind of future things, you know, as to what to do about those. It would be great to travel and uh, meet some people overseas. We've enjoyed that a lot in the past. Mm. And um, we know we've heard from some of you who'd like to meet with us overseas. But yeah, yeah as you said, there's a lot of logistical things that we need to consider. Besides the cost and is yeah. it the best use of our money? You know, at the mm -hmm. moment, uh, we're spending money in lots of different areas that we feel are the best use of our funds. Mm -hmm. And we've got to consider, well, is it the best use of our funds to go on a trip where you're spending large amounts of funds, but not getting any resource back from it in the sense of recordings or anything. Yeah, yeah. So we could easily just do a trip, you and I, mm -hmm. and just go and talk to groups of people. And But the trouble is with all of that is that it will only be for those groups of people. There, yeah. there won't be any additional uh, uh, flow on effect from those meetings. Mm -hmm. Whereas if they are properly recorded and produced, now there is a good flow on effect from those particular meetings, yeah. which we can, which everybody can benefit from. Yeah. So that, that's where we're, you know, so those many people have said, oh, why don't you come here? Why don't you come there? Or why don't you do this? And why don't you do that? And then they feel quite depressed or down when we say, oh, well, there's all these issues that yeah. we've really got to resolve before we can do those things, you know. And at, at this stage, we don't have the donations to sustain what we're currently doing as well as doing all of those things mm -hmm. um you know so you know that that's the issue really we you know we haven't got the funds to go to new places and still do productions mm. if we if we can go to new places but we have to skip all the production of it mm. and that that then means that everybody misses out not so it's only the few people who can visit that event that benefit from that event so um you know that that's our main problem at this stage whereas when we're doing things here in the studio or we're doing things with groups of people here that are getting recorded properly, that can be shared. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, we see the sharing of it as almost more important than the delivery of it. Because, it, because the delivery of it just affects the people that are there. Mm -hmm. The sharing of it has the potential to affect everyone in the world. Yeah, and I even think in the delivery, um because there's often a lot going on for people, uh, the full impact of what's being shared is often gained, mm. I unless it's recorded, mm. it's lost. If, mm. it, if it is recorded, you can get more and more from it over time. Mm. I know sometimes people don't revisit things, but I, I have personally, and I can attest to the fact that you, you get a lot more each time you go back to it. You're, you're in a different state, maybe day to day, but also if you do make some progress, you can engage with material on a lot deeper level. Exactly. God's truth is such that it doesn't change over time. No. So the beautiful thing of going back over it is that when you've changed, you get yes. to see more of it. Yes. Um, and that and that is the you know reason why we are now quite um, insistent with, with people nowadays that we need to get a recording of some kind because without the recording, how there's more than one person or a few people benefit. Yeah. It's impossible to benefit more than one. Now, we, we can, you know, obviously we can forget about that. We can just go, you know, enjoy ourselves, which, mm -hmm. we, which, which we have also considered. Yeah. Just go, oh, well, let's focus on enjoying our own life and going and sharing with people and yeah. whatever happens, happens. And whoever records, records. And we don't worry about a website and we don't worry yeah. about video and we don't worry about YouTube and we don't worry about, 
you know, <laughs> uploading things or transcribing things or any of those things, we can do all that. Sometimes you know? over the Sometimes last couple feel of like years, doing that. <laughs> when you've been so, so worked, overworked really, we've talked about that, haven't we? We have, yes, yeah. we have talked about that. And and that still might be on the cards yeah. if, if it turns out that in a few years time, we still don't have enough resources or, or, or members or, or people who are up to speed technically mm -hmm. uh, or emotionally to do the things, we may revert back to that mm. uh, where we start doing a whole heap of things that nothing gets recorded and if you're there, you're there and if you're not mm -hmm. there, you miss out type of thing. Yeah. We don't see that as the most loving thing we could mm -hmm. do, but, but it would be you know more loving than us getting so buried down in the detail of, of supplying this other stuff that we don't finish up delivering more truth. That's so right. That, and sometimes so, so that's a balance that we're trying. We to can't achieve. be a slave to our production either and a slave to. Our, it, and over the last six to 12 months, we have been yeah. because of trying to get them up to speed. Yeah. But we've got to at some point say, well, are we ever going to get this up to speed mm -hmm. production wise? Or do we just go around and do you know delivery of information wherever somebody wants us to go? like we used to, yeah. and whatever they decide to do with that, well, they decide to do with it. And that has benefits. Well, it has some benefits, but frequently what happens is that I'm covering the same material with new groups over and over and over again. And the problem with that is I don't get to share God's truth fully then. Mm -hmm. So so there are a whole heap of problems with that as far as I see it as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what we decide to do. And a lot's going to depend upon the ability for other people to become involved and 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 start looking at developing the skills needed to to offload some of the workload so that we can focus on delivering the information we need to deliver mm -hmm. and then uh, and let others go through the process of actually doing the work that that gets that from a place of presentation mm -hmm. to the place of you know final you know reception, yeah. if you like, or, you know, that delivery process yeah. needs to be, uh, you know, needs to be seamless, really. Mm. So that's our goal over the coming years, and that's going to require a bit of management on our part. And obviously, we still need to progress, you and I. Yeah. So we need to really get our attention back on to our progression, rather than our attention being uh, drawn away onto these other things that are not as important as our progression. No. So, mm. If we stop progressing, then we can talk till we're blue in the face, but it's not really going to have Nobody's going to believe impact. us. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the reality. Yeah. You know, if we, if we don't progress, uh, you know, to the point where, where people can, by examining our lives, have some faith in God and faith in God's laws and faith in God's in truth. In the way that we're then teaching. At the end of the day, it's pointless as opening our mouth, really. That's right. So, so that's why our progression is so important to us. And, uh, and that's why, in the end, we do need to make some decisions about our priorities re mm -hmm. with regard to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, that probably says it all <laughs> yeah yeah so that probably brings us to the end of our discussion yeah. about our august 2018 announcements and news and information <laughs> session and so um hopefully we've given you guys a lot of information about you know what kind of things we're going we're going to be doing and what why we're making the plans we're making and what we're doing and and why it is sometimes that things don't seem to be getting updated as often as you think they might should or should be and so forth but also gives you some idea about all these beautiful things that are happening uh, in our current location to uh, try to put into practice some of these principles of truth that people have learnt over the years. And, and our little team that we have got going on at this stage who are helping us get that done. So, yeah, so we'd like to thank our team for yes. that and, uh, and also thank those people who have have given a large amount of their personal welfare and livelihood to these underlying goals just so that you in the long run as as listeners can benefit from the information being received so we'd like to thank them for that as well and you can visit on our website the donate.divinetruth.com page which is the donation page and next to the donation page uh, there are other pages about uh, about the members themselves who are participating every day. Mm -hmm. oh, and I think that's under donate 
other or something like that. I can't remember the actual thing. Uh, the t- at the top of the page is some drop pull, downs. There's a drop down menu, and, pull down, and you yeah. just pull down that and select uh, volunteers, volunteers I, I think, think it's it uh, called, yeah. or something, donation to volunteers. And you can then see the volunteers that are involved in the different aspects of our organisation that they're involved in. And uh, there's also personal ways you can donate to them there as well mm. to express your appreciation for what they do. And obviously at this stage, there's not a lot you know what they're doing because there's a lot of it behind the scenes, but we're hoping over the coming months that you'll be able to see a lot of that in our sharing process. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, as a reminder, you said donate.divinetruth.com if you want to donate to Divine Truth. Uh, if you want to learn more about what God's Way is up to, you can go to godsway.net. And if you want to donate to God's Way, it's donate.godsway.net. It's a, very it's a, easy. Very easy to donate. And they have some methods uh, of donation that you can donate. And there might be new methods getting added over the coming months to make it easier to donate to that organisation as well. Yeah. If you are considering donating a large sum to godsway.net, like, you know, like you want to donate an excavator or a bulldozer or something like that, <laughs> then uh, we usually ask you to sign a gift uh, document as well so that we, we are covered from a taxation perspective and not having to pay tax on your donations. Because mm-hmm. obviously, if we have to pay tax on the donations on top of the donation, when we don't have the money to do so, that can be quite dangerous or damaging to the organisation. So, so if you can just remind, bear that in mind, if you've got large donations coming to God's way uh, that are not monetary, but or are monetary, but or are not monetary, but are machinery or whatever, then we'd prefer to see those as a gift to declaration to be accompanied with them, um, just to so that you know the the rules of taxation in Australia are are um, adhered to with regard to gifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. So we'd like to thank you for your time to, to get all of that information from us. And thank you, babe, for thank handling you, all that and preparing all that for us. And that was great. It's pretty hard to keep up the date with what's going on because there's so many things going on, isn't <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, maybe we need to do this much more regularly. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, think, I, I think it's hard enough to do it every three months. Uh, we're not even, at, our original goal is to do it every three months, but yeah. it's, uh, we're struggling to do that. So. Um, I think the best thing we can do is uh, just do it when we have the opportunity like we had today, Mm -hmm. share it with you, and hopefully you can see what's going on. It gives you a bit of background what's going on and gives our listeners a background about what's going on. And then you've got an opportunity to know what you want to be involved in, if you want to be involved in anything at all. Um, So, But we'd like to thank you for all of those of you who have some involvement in this process, because uh, without you guys, it's, you know, a lot of the things that get done wouldn't get done at all so you know when I went back if you go back 10 or 12 years um, where I was just doing presentations I didn't do the video I didn't do the audio I didn't you know make sure everything is documented or anything and and to be frank you could tell (laughs) (laughs) because the quality of it all was terrible and 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 while it was great that people decided to do it Mm. Most people don't decide to do things thoroughly, yeah. which is the whole reason why we began this process in the first place. Yeah, and I think the the wonderful thing about God's way is that because I was thinking about it, it you you looked a little less stressed out in those early videos too because you weren't worrying about those things. And so one of the great opportunities and one of the reasons I get really passionate about God's way, there's many reasons, but one of them is... Um, that uh, we can hopefully build the infrastructure and the skills and people in the right development within that organisation so that all of Divine Truth production, all of the technicals can be managed by God's way. We can rely on that and you and I can just focus on progress and sharing sharing the benefits of our progress, sharing exactly. the, the and gifts it, of our progress in the with end, others. Uh, we wouldn't even need to receive donations at all under that, you know, because we, at the moment all these donations are going towards uh, things, you know, yeah. like... Um, our technical techni- production, really. Things to get yeah. production sorted. Yeah. But once production is sorted and, yeah. and people are donating to God's way and production in God's way is sorted and we've got a place to do it, like we had to build this studio mm. even, um, you know, once we have a studio to go to to record an event and an event place to do events and things like that, obviously there's very little you and I need to live, to live yeah. after yeah. that. And, and so all of our resources then can be put towards God's way 
the organization. And the God's Way organization can not only support uh, all the divine truth, video production and all those kind of operations, but it will also be able to support its own operations yeah. because we've taught it to. Yeah. We've transferred all that knowledge and information across to God's Way as well, which means that all the people involved know how to produce videos, know how to do audios, know how to share information in the world. In the world. And in the end, our goal is that there's many presenters in God's Way who go visiting people all around the world sharing specific things with them mm -hmm. yeah, th yeah so some farmers going to share farming principles and practices with people all over the world how to get it in harmony with god's way and in harmony with the environment you know people who are doctors doing the same thing people yeah. who are you know um have any technical skill doing the same thing people who are parents going and educating parents mm -hmm. you know because they Wonderful. have the skills and the development yeah to be able to share that information and, and they the have a experience. team of people with yeah. them that can record it and put yes. it out on the net so it's available to everybody yeah. so that's our goal in yeah. the long run and yeah. it may take many years to get there because obviously when you're growing as an organization just from volunteers mm -hmm. and just from uh, donations mm -hmm. you're highly reliant on yeah. those two resources to get things done but that's the way it should be yeah because because volunteers are driven by desire yeah. and donations are driven by desire that's right and that's what that that's what they're driven by so so that's the way we want the organization to grow we don't want to have to charge anything for anything and we don't want to have to you know say even in the future we don't even want to have to say how much anything cost yeah uh just to inform people we 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 just we just want to you know just do yeah. you know just do yeah. what needs to be done to share the information and deliver it in a practical in practical ways and we don't want just ourselves to be involved in that yeah so but that requires getting people skilled up and getting them understanding what they need to develop and and process and so forth so yeah. so hopefully that's what will happen over the coming 10 to 20 years yeah mm. yeah good plans and hopefully you and i are still young enough to enjoy <laughs> watching it happen <laughs> yeah. if we deal with our stuff we will we so. will we've got to focus on but we've got to deal with our stuff <laughs> <laughs> you more uh, gray hair sprouted while i was while i was neglecting my progress <laughs> yeah I, I sort of feel my gray hair establishment has uh, pretty much plateaued <laughs> but my uh, my general um like physical well-being, you know, unless I get time to deal with some emotions, yeah. that's not going to improve. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everyone. See you next time. Yeah. Catch you later. <laughs>